scientists! My name is Ashley Sa, and I'm a 12th grader from the high school. Have you ever wondered about the air, like what it's made of? Today, using a clear plastic container and some petroleum jelly, also known as Vaseline, we're gonna find out. Let's get started! For this project, you'll need a piece of clear plastic. I'm using a container. Um, but you can use a, plastic, a clear plastic plate or a cup. I'm also using petroleum jelly or Vaseline. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to take our petroleum jelly, we're gonna open the container, and we're going to take a spoon. So we're gonna take some of that petroleum jelly out, put it on the container, might need to use your hands. And then we're gonna spread it on the bottom of the container. You wanna make sure the layer of jelly is thin, enough that you can still kind of see the bottom of your container or piece of clear plastic. You may need to use your hands, and that's okay. We can get a little messy. And now that we've spread our petroleum jelly, I'm just gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna clean my hands. So, as you can see, you have a clear um, layer of jelly on the bottom of your container. Okay, now it's time to take our um, container with petroleum jelly and stick it to the wall. You can use duct tape or you can keep it on somewhere on the ground and weigh it down with a small rock. So now I'm just going to use my duct tape and stick it to the wall. Okay young scientists, now you can see that um, I've stuck my container to, to the wall. If you decide to do this, then you want to make sure that your tape doesn't cover too much of the inside of the petroleum jelly of the bottom of your container because otherwise the air particles won't be able to come in and get stuck onto the petroleum jelly. Okay, STEM ambassadors, as you can see after leaving out my container overnight, um, I have little pieces of dirt and particles in my container. If you can't see it clearly after leaving it out overnight, you can take a piece of white paper and you can put it behind your container so that you can clearly see all the little bits of dirt and stuff that was collected in your container. So now we know, right, that even though the air is clear, there's still a bunch of stuff that solid particles that are in the air. As you can see, even though the air is clear, there are plenty of things floating around. This is why it's important we take care of the air. It's what we breathe. So try avoid putting harmful chemicals in the air. Some simple things you can do include um, using a bike instead of a car to get to school, or avoid using bug spray or air fresheners. Um, we share the air with everyone. Everyone breathes it, everyone uses it. So it's important that we take care of it for the health of our friends and family. I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment as much as I did. Have a good day.